Hey guys, just wanted to quickly plug the Teespring. There's a link down in the description down below. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to shrink myself down for a minute here. Alright. Alrighty then. Here I go. We woo. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm small now. Anyways, guys, fair warning before you play this game. You have to go into these uh into these files over here. <laughs> in your app data to play the game because uh, this is an RPG Maker game and the way it installs is it goes directly to wherever the freaking Game Jolt client just extracts it. So if you're downloading it just on GameJolt.com, you're fine. But if you're using the app like I am, you might just be fucked. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's make this bigger. Dude! Jono! Strange journey. I, I like how it's JoJo, but it's like they uh they're screwing with the name <laughs> because it looks like JoJo's Bento Oreo Adventure. <laughs> all right, let's let's just jump into the game. All right, I I know nothing. <laughs> this is just supposed to be based on um. Part 5? So, it's the work of Hiro, oh, Hiro Okiko Araki. I botched that, but uh, I do not own almost every character in the game. Alright, warning. This content has mature themes that may not be suitable for everyone. Yep. Major spoilers. I've seen, I've seen the enemy. Before we start, Babby mode or biz well, I gotta go bizarre mode. It's bizarre adventure. Bizarre mode or normal mode is a lot harder than Babby mode. However, this mode is very much more rewarding than Babby mode, with the extension of having a secret boss fight, and you can achieve that you're uh, okay. I thought there was still a development. Once upon a time, there is this human. You are a human, but you are nobody. You have no connection whatsoever to the boy who is the main focus of this story. Giorno Giovanna. I should probably move my face so that you guys can see the game a bit better. Um, let me just invert myself. Wait! Okay, that's about all. Oh. Now, now you can see me who I really ain't. I got them weak. Alright. That until fate herself gets a little playful today and give her a meaning. Okay, so you're not, you're not the focus, but you're... Why is there a... Why are we going through that rock thing again? It's really dark, but you clearly see yourself in a jail alone with a spheroid rock in front of you. Yes, that's the rock that tells you when you're going how you're going to die. Maybe you see it, you're fucked. Why am I in a jail cell with this stupid rock thing? It's just approaching me. Oh, you're approaching me. I, I need, I need, I need to find a way out. All right. Nope, no pause. Are you certain of your own fate? Slave of your own destiny? What lies upon you is one of the most Unusual journey. However, it may not be safe for you. As your, for your destiny, you may answer a yes or a no. However, no matter what your reply is, fate will go unchanged. It is absolute. You cannot avert such fate if you continue to go forth on this journey. Though it is unavoidable, if you choose not to seek your own reality and justice. What is your answer then? Whatever your answer may be, is no mistake that you will experience great suffering. Um... Okay, the rock's surface shifts, its surface to form a shape of a man you've never seen before. It would appear to be someone who will be very dear to you, uh, will, would suffer and ultimately die. But you are not afraid, 
rather than living a boring and somewhat miserable life, it would be better having the experience of a lifetime. Someone has been calling you. You can't hear their voices, but it's getting clearer. Okay. Come on, Nimrick, get up. What the hell? Why am I in prison? Why is this anime schoolgirl in prison? Is this... <sighs> okay. It is about time that you get up. Alright, why am I in jail in my schoolgirl outfit? Why, why do I not have a prison inmate outfit? I have so many questions. Alright. I really had to drag you out. <laughs> Don't you? You feel a bit lightheaded trying to understand what had happened back there. <laughs> Grammar. A man in a white suit. Please be gentle with this young lady. She already had a rough time susp suspended here. But you know, I need to catch my breath. Eh, whatever you say, sir. But I must say, a young kid this age committed such crimes, such as drug-related crime, is just astonishing. Astonishing. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's the whole point of this part. You know, doing drugs. The kids are doing all these drugs. Um, you are allowed to go home now, kid. Hey, now, are you even listening? Are you alright? I don't think so. I might have inhaled some kind of gas. My view is still spinning. Gas? Oh, yeah, the gas tank must have been leaking again. That might be that might be the reason why these prisoners look so dizzy. That's just a lazy fucking jail warden. <laughs> They're gonna die. Um, if you aren't careful enough, you might pay the price of killing these prisoners and resulting in losing your job. <laughs> you don't want that, do you? Wow, the man in the white suit gives a scolding of to that jail warden. <laughs> um. Eh, I'm very sorry for my carelessness, Mr. Like I said, you're free to go now. Come on now, let us leave this place. Ugh, I can't, I can't, like, get up. Ugh, what a scary guy. That guy, who is that guy? Did he pay to bail me out? Is is expected that my parents should be the ones who should have taken me out of this mess, but it's unlikely since, one, my mother is very neglecting. I know that she wouldn't bother, and my father, and two, no, my father would never... Was never around to have my. No. Huh. Okay. Very confusing. So, that guy, out of all the people in my life, a complete stranger, cared enough to help me. Okay. I'm not going to wait for you. I will. I will leave you behind if you don't want to talk. Alright, just a minute. Okay. You have been jailed for quite a while. <laughs> for someone who has never done anything to deserve it. How does this man even know? Does he know Does he know me? Is he a relative of mine that I never heard of? Ah, I'm not a relative of yours, nor has anyone pleaded me to help you. Oh, wait, how... How do you know what I was thinking? He is just a complete stranger, then. What is his intention? I just did my own will. Or rather, pay my respects to a friend of mine. To a friend of our dad's, friend of our mom's. It seems to be that you happen to be his child. And I couldn't help but give out a hand to someone in need. Is it referring to my father? I don't know anyone in my family who lives here in Italy other than my father. Her name, your name, could you kindly state your name? Is it Johanna Noaville, your name? Um... Oh, that's why they flipped the J to the side. It's supposed to be like Jojo. It, it's Jo No. And she's a child of Dio! <laughs> Alright. It isn't too bad to give... It isn't too bad to give your name to someone who is a stranger to you. What could go wrong? Yes, that's my name. Jo... Johanna Norville. I was right then. Johanna. Such a lovely name for a lady like yourself. This flattery puts a smile on your face, or more like a smirk. It feels weird that you get complimented by a guy that you don't know yet. 
It seems that you really are familiar with my father, but who are you? What's your name, mister? My name is not important for you to know. I just wanted to return a favor to my colleague. And please, never get involved with me or your father, for your safety and future. Yeah, right. Like, I never even met the old man for, like, years. Who are you guys to be if I need to stay away? The Italian Mafia? With some cult worshipping an ominous being beyond man's comprehension? Hey, it's Dio! <laughs> Mafia, huh? Wait. Cult. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you are wondering... You are wondering there about a, the rolling spheroid rock in your prison cell. If you wonder if that is some kind of fever dream or something, it might be real. Maybe worth mentioning it to that man. You told the weird crap happening in your jail cell to the stranger. Some rolling spheroid rock. That is indeed strange. What do you think? You must have inhaled too much propane gas. Your mind is tricky into thinking that is real. Yeah. What I said to you is weird. Sorry for bringing that weird crap up. Whether it's true or not, it feels so bizarre to be real for that. I hate the grammar! The grammar's killing me! <laughs> Why do I have to become a grammar Nazi because of these damn RPG fan games? It's not fair! <laughs> this falls to an awkward silence. Yes, because they don't understand. This is the most memorable event that has happened visiting your father in Italy. Despite seeing him like only once in five years, you feel like your father's relationship grew closer to you than your mother. Hmm. March 26, 2001. Okay. Why do you have to date it? It's been like half a year since our meeting of the man in the white suit. He was right on the mark. I was framed for drug-related crimes. I didn't even know someone did it to frame me. It was when me and my aunt visited my father in Naples. It was quite a short visit. I can't remember the details too well. Of course, everything happening in that incident was a shock to me. My aunt and my father were put into questioning from what I remember. Strange that my father is a possible suspect. Strange that my father, a possible suspect, was not put into sentence for pushing his daughter. I was only there for a week, I guess, until that man in the white suit bailed me out. You see, it was nice. I wonder when we'll see each other again. Spoilers, but it's very likely. Okay, thanks, Dev. What was her name, Dev? It was Nugget Naggy. Alright. Mail call, Joanna. There is, a uh, Mail for you. A mail. Wow. I just say there is mail for you. I'm just gonna check everything out first. Okay, so you got a computer, you got some stuff, and there's a little bug. Okay. It's highly advised to save every once in a while. Oh. Okay, so the bugs are save points that would just wander around the room. A grim reminder to never anchor your bomb beats still. Okay. There's Ma. Why does she have swords? Hmm. Read the goddamn letter, you brat. Oh. It appears to be an invitation letter. Okay. That's a Joanna. There are two letters inside this envelope. One is from a high school in Italy. They may they have accepted me enrolling there. What is good news? I always wanted to study in the land of peasant and tomatoes. Uh, okay, thanks. That's that's a great non-canonical -can way of saying it. Yeah, yeah, but I have hope that you aren't going to see your jackass father who never comes home. Reading the other one, it's a letter from Dad. He wanted me to move to him when I studied in Netflix. Mom doesn't seem too impressed here in that. What? I knew that prick would want to steal my shit for Brain's daughter. If he really wants to leave me, he should have filed the divorce. I'm not leaving me here alone with this kid. Okay. She looks pissed, but you're used to it. Okay. 
Yep, she's pissed. Fine, go ahead. Go to your stupid father's place, but don't ever call me your mother again. Oh no, calm down, alright? I heard there are dormitories to the school I am going. I live there for the rest of my high school year. I won't be going to my father's place, then. Um. You're just wasting your slot in your new high school life. You can hear sadness in her very harsh tone of words. You can step the ladder of your new school and move to Italy. But you remembered what that weird dream you have back in Italy. My last part on you is one of the most unusual journey ever. It's not safe for you. Okay, fate will go unchanged. Hmm. Did you exist? Most people go to the school. I'm gonna try going to state. You know what? I'm not going. You are, you, are you defected? I recently a good opportunity. Uh, I know you care for me, even though you aren't showing much. I really hate it how you will be sad and lonely. I don't even know what you want anymore. Stay here if you want. I declined the letter and hope for a safe, normal future. Okay. I live normally here in Japan. Well, normally yes. Okay, such fate is averted. I never witnessed any hard trials from the moment I declined. And yet, you never had experienced the strange journey when you accepted that letter. And thus, you get the boring end of a protagonist who never was a protagonist of her own story. Wow! Wow! <laughs> okay, thank you, game. I am forced into going because you know what that's just how things go okay I'm just I just need to skip through all this I need to skip wow I can't believe that decision time came it was just like you cannot avoid your destiny it was just like wait shit you avoided your destiny by not going by not going you never had that strange experience So she got to live a boring life. It was just like, okay. Thanks, game. Thanks. <sighs> it's not really much of a choice if you just end the game right there. Sayonara, mother. I'm going. You packed everything and left to fly to Italy. You were given 2000 by your aunt who supports you. Okay. Go fly a plane. I booked a flight the flying day following day from Osaka to Naples. I wonder if I were I wonder if I was allowed to bring snacks the whole way, but I did it anyways. Though I left it back in my luggage, so I won't be eating until fourteen or so hours later. I wish my mom was with me this entire trip, it's so boring. I probably should stop monologuing and just sleep through the entire thing. Okay, that's fine. You arrived at the airport. Around you, people from different parts of the world. They seem to have at least a companion with them on their travels. I wonder if it's alright to go alone at the age of 15. Whatever, I'm already here. Might be a glance, but there's someone who looked at you. It might just be your imagination. However, there's a small Japanese tourist who looked at your direction a moment ago. You don't mind it. Then again, who wouldn't look at a girl all alone in her previous school uniform? You haven't even, you haven't even changed clothes, okay? Wonder someone's waiting for me at the entrance. It's not that I have high hopes for him to be knowing what kind of man he is, but I'd be happy to see him welcome me here to my new home. Okay. Seems that your father is nowhere in sight. Hey, I see Jono. Wait, way to get my hopes up. I thought he would come and welcome me. Okay. I see Jono. One catches your eye as a young man wearing a gay pink outfit. Someone says it. They just freaking say it. <laughs> Alright. He seems to be observing people around here. Okay. But he, like, he never looked bad in the pink outfit. Alright. You pay no mind to it. Alright, I'm going to call a taxi to 
take me there myself. There's a long line for the stop. It could take a while to call for one now. Boy, are you looking for a taxi? <laughs> All right. I believe so. My father didn't come for me again. That's a shame. How could a father forget his own daughter's arrival? I wish mine had come back from Egypt. <laughs> Thanks, Dio. Thanks. Anyway, I, I just have what you need. It's my part-time job, and I see that you are a student, a high schooler. I'll lower the price. Seems like a great deal. I'm going to give you 10% off. Oh, right, I forgot. This is his thing. His little side swindle. 80, just downtown. Okay, how about it? My head's cool quite more expensive than I remembered. Yeah, he's gonna steal your money. He doesn't care. He must be messing with me. Also, have I seen you somewhere? I don't think I've seen you around here. Half a year ago on this terminal. Are you American? You speak pretty good Italian without breaking into that Mamma Mia shtick a lot of American tourists tend to. Have you been living in Italy before? <laughs> I'm in fact half American and also half Italian. I usually live here until my father starts moving us from place to place. I don't know what the deal with that, but he seems paranoid when he made his decision. It must be because he is, uh, no, a cult member of a dangerous organization for world domination. Off topic, but you seem to be a middle schooler as well. Are you guys old enough to have a dragon place? Look, miss, I don't have all day, and I am heading home soon, so how about it? I have a wife and kids to feed. A family man has to provide something. Oh my god, he's just lying out of his ass. Wait, are you in the same age group as me? Team pregnancy. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll make it 79. Dude, you're asking from a teen that much monthly allowance as much as this college. Okay. S I feel like taking an official taxi cab. It's quite a long line. Not a single taxi cab has arrived yet. Alright, just shut up. Well? <sighs> On second thought, just do it. It's decided then. It's going to swindle me out of the money. But I think this is my only choice. Your luggage will go in the front seat while you sit at the back. That sounds suspicious. I just don't want to make a pretty fine lady be squeezed in the back with their luggage, that's all. Suspicion removed. Ever heard a flirt like that since I was jailed in for being a drug addict? <laughs> By accident. Okay, why'd you say that out loud? What's your name? Johanna. Norville. You? I'm Jono. Johanna, huh? You're an interesting weirdo. I'll remember that. Hey, that seems to be all my stuff. Also, don't you dare think about duping me. Oh, yoink! What the fuck? My bento full of Oreos in there. Look, he stole that girl's lunchbox. Don't point your finger, Timmy. It's very impolite to point fingers at morons who got scammed. Not to mention you're a liar from the school. Oh. It's not like I fell for it. I did it on purpose. Shut up, kid. You must find Giorno, or else you'll be living as a hobo wandering the streets. I'll look for you. I will find you. I'll shove this hairpin up your ass. <laughs> Giorno. <laughs> also, I think he's gay. And I was just starting to think he would be an interesting boy toy. Well, that's great. Try to find him in the direction he drives to. Into the deeper streets, you eventually got lost. That, gosh dang it, I know for one he used to live here. That there side of the neighborhood. Well, there, Missy. Alright. Okay! Right on cue, it's one of those guys. What's... There's what guys? You seem to be pretty lost. Are you new around this neighborhood, Bella? You must be very bad at the directions have ended up here. Or do you know exactly where you're going? Either the case, you shouldn't be wandering alone in these parts. You might get mugged or worse. Yeah, it might be bad. Oh, it's bad, alright. I think you need someone to escort you to the main streets. Might be someone like me should. Hmm, should I? Nah, you look suspicious. Nice try, bud. But you look like a freaking terrorist in that getup. <laughs> you can use your brain, I see. No matter. Of course I'm an enemy. Whenever someone looks like this, we are more than likely to attack a civilian like yourself. 
Now that that is out of the way, I can spare you if you only give me all your money. Joke's on you, I don't have any money left up. You must be lying. There should be a reason for a helpless girl like you to be out of her home. Unless you got mugged. Uh, yeah, so what are you gonna do with me now? Hmm. I honestly don't know. I can still use. Oh. Nah. Shit, this turned out for the worse. Come with me, you don't wanna get yourself hurt. Okay. Why? Why is he here in. What the hell is this shit? You calm down and remember the basics of self defense. Okay. I don't need a tutorial, I'll skip it. Yes, I will skip the tour. Screw your tutorials! I'm not a retard and need a full I love this. You fainted. You swiftly kicked the enemy in the groin. <laughs> enemy drops loot. So if they were to drop any useful weapons and armor, don't forget to equip them out for the battle. Cool. I got an empty beer bottle. How? How can a mere child easily beat me? <laughs> I love this. Get out of my way, punk. I'm still on my way looking for that blonde bastard. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I think I've gone deeper in the wrong neighborhood. I can't believe I was mugged earlier. Or was it yesterday? I lost my sense of time. Was it an hour since that scenario, or was it like a whole day? Man, Italy's time flow is really weird. This is just great. Now I'm just walking around with a fucking beer bottle in my hand. Big boy mode in my epilogue story, just cause. Oh. Okay. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end things here for now. Because you know what? Because <laughs> you know what? It's been 25 minutes of recording. I've got a lot of this to edit. And, um, yeah. I can't believe, I can't believe the bullshit they're pulling in this. But... That's just given with RPG Maker games. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep being awesome. Check out that merch store in the cards above or in the description down below. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Fantastic. Subscribe.